Okay, so this time we talk about another method of integration called integration by parts. So when do we use this method? It is used when the integrand is a product of algebraic and transcendental functions. So when we say trans transcendental functions, that's trigonometric, exponential, logarithmic, inverse trigonometric. In algebraic, it involves algebraic expressions. Now, to evaluate the integral using integration by parts, we use the formula. So, our formula is the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du such that you're going to divide the integrand into two parts that's two parts so what are the two parts of the integrand you are going to choose which one you're going to set as u and which portion you are going to set as the dv part such that the u part is easy to differentiate Okay, remember that you're going to differentiate and the dv part is easy to integrate so basically it's a trial and error process but there is a guide so the guide for solving or in choosing which portion to set as u and dv would be the acronym okay the guide is i l a T E. So take note that this is not perfect. You can also use the acronym L I A T E. Alright. So I refers to inverse triangle. L refers to logarithmic. A refers to algebraic. T refers to trigonometric and E refers to exponential. Now you choose U whichever comes first in the acronym. Okay, again, choose as U whichever comes first in the acronym so say for example we are given a product between an algebraic and triangle so which one should be set as u algebraic and triangle so you set u as so u should be algebraic okay so for example is a product between inverse triangle okay inverse triangle and exponential so for that because i comes first then we will set this as u another one say for example we want to evaluate an integral containing the product between um, algebraic and logarithmic algebraic and logarithmic so from the acronym l comes before a therefore we will set l as our u so remember this will be our guide in choosing u and this will be the formula that we are going to use to perform integration by parts so in the next video we are going to solve an example using integration by parts.